up everybody? Welcome to a brand new E getaway. I have a really special guest with me, a rather dramatic one. And this time we are going to Hotu! Hotu! We are going to We are in the beautiful valley of Ha. I'm Pemsi with a special episode of Me Getaway. This time, I have a very special friend with me, Karma Samdrup, aka Superman. What's up? All right, so we are going to show you the top 10 things that you can do in Ha Dongkak. Well, I'm a hub myself, and I don't know a lot about this place, so I'm going to connect with my roots, explore the place, and this should be interesting, I guess. Yeah. I thought Hao was pretty much a ghost town, but I think the district has a lot to offer. So should we find out? Yes, yes, yes. Come, come, let's go. Welcome to the Valley of Ha. Popular for their hente and their strong Habi accent, Ha is one of the 20 districts in Bhutan, located in the western region, close to a two-hour drive from Paro. Isolated, the valley is pristine and protected by the Meri Finsum, the three mountains believed to symbolize Jambayang, Chana Doji and Jinrizi. The people of Ha also have deep reverence for their protective local deity, Ap Chindu. There are numerous temples to visit in Ha, but the most important ones are Lakang Karpo and Nakpo, or the White and Black Temples. Legend has it that the two temples were built on the sites where the two birds that emanated from the body of Songsen Gyalpo, the Tibetan Dharma king, were seen. Hagong Karpo is one of the most sacred monasteries of Ha, also known as the White Temple. It is located just above the highway and is also the main seat of the local deity Ab Chundu. And just a few minutes above the White Temple is Hagong Nakpo. Okay, we're here at Nak Nakpo, and as you can see, the color itself is black, so black means Nakpo. And locals believe that two pigeons emanated from the body of Songsen Galpo, the Dharma king of Tibet, and where the black bird had descended upon. This is where Nak Nakpo was built. If you're not sure about restaurants in Ha, try booking a meal at a local homestay. From the host family welcoming you with dal to their home to tasting some of the best Bhutanese meals, this is a must try. Best ways to try traditional Bhutanese food is through a homestay. And today we're here at the Tsringwamo homestay and we've got quite the spread in front of us. We've got rice, spinach soup, traditional emma dazi with a lot of cheese and butter fried spinach eze shakampa which is basically beef and we've got scrambled eggs to top it all off We are here at the National Research Center for River and Lake Fishery. So, as you can see, the fish is over here, and I'm feeding the fish. Feeding, feeding, feeding the fish. Uh, we have uh, three species uh, currently rare in this center. So, one is a rainbow trout. Uh, number two is brown trout yes. and the third is uh, snow trout. Snow trout. So snow trout and brown trout are the native species to our river system of our country. So what do you do with them? Do you like release them? Do you sell it to us? Uh, basically our aim was uh, just a research center. Yes. So we just uh, bring here fish mm. 
Yes. So we standardize the building techniques of this uh, grand motor. Yes. But we see that it is a good opportunity that we can have the mass production yes. for the future. Uh, if there are interested entrepreneurs, locals from Ha who would like to make some money, uh, who would like to grow trout and then sell them to consumers themselves, we uh, actually have a very subsidized program whereby we uh, supply the interested entrepreneurs uh, with fish and uh, the subsidy also includes 40% uh, of uh, the construction expenses. But that is just for the locals? Only. Yes, la. just for the locals? Uh, anyone, anyone who's interested to pursue trout aquaculture. La. I think I, I, I would love to, seriously. I think this is a really, really wonderful thing. The community coming together to help each other to make the place look beautiful so that people come to this place and enjoy what they have over here, what they can get, you know. So, I... Good job, sir! Howard does not have a lot of hotels but you love the homestay experience in the valley thanks to the community-based sustainable tourism project by RSPN in partnership with Tourism Council of Bhutan and Songkok administration the valley has more than 20 licensed homestay accommodation helping the local economy earn a different sort of income one of the best things about Ha Valley is that it's filled with farm stays and we are going to check one out right now follow me You can also try different activities with your host family for an authentic village life experience. The cold region of Ha is not really that popular for producing a lot of crops or vegetables, but one thing the valley is famous for is turnip, also known as endo. And I'm going to take this up for Karma because he has something really special for us. And then about tried the famous western sweet dish chuwamagi with fresh cottage cheese, milk, sugar and lots of butter. For an extra Newton 500, try the hot stone bath at your local homestay. The host family will prepare a nice hot bath in a wooden tub filled with artemisia leaves and flower petals floating in the water steamed hot by river stones. I still remember when I was a kid, whenever I used to have a nosebleed, my grandmother used to shove, I mean like, roll this up, <laughs> shove it up, my nose, and so next time you're in her, be sure to stay in a farmhouse, enjoy uh, a simple life, and enjoy this hot stone bun, like I am right now, and I'm so, so relaxed right now. <sighs> So it's 6 in the morning and we're here on the main highway that takes you back to Chalala, um, about 10 minutes away from the main town and we are going to try the Ha Valley View Trail, approximately 2 kilometers in length and it's a very effortless hike so let's give it a try, let's go. If you're thinking about going hiking, you have to try this in the morning from breathing in this really fresh air and walking in between these tall pine trees to getting a beautiful view of the Ha Valley. It's a unique sort of hiking experience you have to try in Ha.
One of the most sacred sites and a special place for all hops is the Apchundu ground. This is the place where the annual ritual of Apchundu Sukha is performed with all communities in the district coming together to celebrate. RSPN, with the help of Japan Environmental Education Forum, is training hops in making souvenirs made from raw materials unique to the district, like the Yak Hair Keychain and Highland Artemisia Popuri. We met up with the trainer Akane from Japan. The main purpose uh, of our souvenir training here is to create the income for local community uh, by making use of local natural resources. And at the same time, why we are focusing, for example, this yak hair kitchen is yak culture is very like uh, traditional yeah. and very mm -hmm. unique in Ha. Ha mm -hmm. has the largest number of yak in all 20 Sunkaks in Bhutan. Our favorite souvenir was the Artemisia eye pillow for tired eyes. Soak it in hot water and let it rest on your eyes. So if you're interested in buying these souvenirs from Ha, you can be on the lookout for the souvenir center, the visitor center, that's going to be ready in Ha by March 2018. Have you ever wondered if we could design our lives like a road trip? A journey that constantly takes us to new places and new experiences. Let's us meet different people, makes us understand local traditions and culture, makes us learn new things and cherish the memories that come with them. This New Year's, let yourself take this long road and let life's adventures take you by surprise. You too can begin this journey. All you have to do is start with a road trip. Like a breeze Like a breeze Like a breeze